I'm very happy to be here on behalf of the Inst uh, Department of Cognitive Science. We just changed our name recently. Uh, I'm the undergraduate supervisor for CogSci. I also teach some classes every year. And uh, yeah, we're, we're quite excited about our program. We are an interdisciplinary program, which means that students will come uh, to study the mind with us and they will look at it from a bunch of different perspectives. So students in our program can take philosophy courses, they can take psychology courses, uh, they take neuroscience and linguistics and computer programming courses. And uh, all of those courses tie together because they're all different ways of approaching and trying to understand how the mind works. Uh, so I'm very happy to be here today and uh, I'd like to uh, bring our student on, uh, Kirsten, uh, who will be answering some questions. Hi everybody. Hi Kirsten, uh, thanks for joining us today. I understand you, I know you're in fourth year and you're uh, working on your honors project right now, which is a really exciting thing. We might get a chance to talk about a bit later on, but I wanted to start with some more general questions first. And uh, so my first one is, is just basically what made you choose Carleton University? And in particular, uh, what made you, uh, what attracted you to the cognitive science? Yeah, so I chose Carleton. Um, I'd actually come to Carleton before for a gymnastics competition. And I stayed in the residence here and I really just like the campus. I really like the feel of it. It's definitely a campus university, which was something I was looking for. And um, the reason I chose the cognitive science program was I was really looking for something interdisciplinary um, coming into my undergraduate degree. I'd, I'd considered taking um, possibly philosophy or um, psychology or neuroscience. I'd kind of looked into all those things and I and I really think my dad must have just googled like my daughter likes all these things um, what's a good program for her because he's actually the one who found the cognitive science program for me but um, once I found it I knew it was going to be a really good fit for me because I got the opportunity to dip my toe into all those different areas like you said um, that I had interest in and um, yeah, I just I was struggling to find something that I thought was enough for me. And I think cognitive science was great just because got to try out all those different areas and see where my uh, true interests lie. Yeah, no, that's great. And, and as you know, uh, the neat thing about our program is you take courses in all those areas, but you also get to pick one of those five areas to sort of concentrate in. That becomes your specialization area, uh, which which is which is really good as well. Yeah. Um, during your degree here in the four years you've been here, what's the proudest you've been about about something related to, to CogSci or, your, or your, your time here at Carleton? Um, I've had I've had a lot of proud moments throughout my degree. I think one time when I felt really accomplished was uh, at the end of first year, just because it was uh, kind of intimidating coming into university. I'd, I'd taken a year off after high school and I had some doubts, you know, like, can I can I handle this? Am I ready to come back? And then at the end of first year when I'd um, I'd survived two exam periods and uh, yeah, made it through with um, relatively unscathed, I felt really proud of myself and I was just happy with like the choices I'd made with my choice to come to Carleton and happy with my academic achievements and felt really proud. But yeah, that was a big one. And I'm sure I will feel very proud when I'm done my undergraduate thesis, but I can't really think that far ahead right now because there's still so much work to be done for that. But when I, you know, when I finish that, it's um, it's a topic I'm really interested in and enjoying working on. So I think once that's all done, I'll be I'll be pretty happy with that. For sure, yeah, and, and definitely the first year is always tremendously exciting, but it does have a lot of adjustments uh, that mm -hmm. students have to make, and it's it's great that it went well. Yeah, um, lots of courses we take. We've been talking about all these different subject matters, and and I should also mention that students in in CogSci also take cognitive science courses. So those are courses that sort of tie in those other areas and try to bring everything together and look at the way that these different methodologies and questions for understanding the mind kind of kind of uh, 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 come together. Um, what what's your favorite course been? Uh, in your time here and, and why? What was it about the course that you liked so much? Yeah, this is such a hard question because you take so many courses throughout your degree and there's so many that I've really, really enjoyed. Um, like specifically to cognitive science, I would say one of my favorite courses that I took was the first year seminar. Um, and this is a class that all cognitive science students um, are required to take. And the reason I really enjoyed it, just because it was um, a smaller class, so it was only about 45 people in this class. Um, and I got to know some students who were in my program and got to know the professor really well. And it was just a good kind of like first introduction to what cognitive science is. 
Um, and I found it just so exciting. I liked a lot of the topics that we covered. Um, so that was great, just getting to know people in the program, getting to know kind of what the the um, actual degree was going to look like and what I was going to be learning about and things. And yeah, that was a great course. But um, I also liked a lot, like I enjoyed a lot of my other required uh, courses for COGSI. So another one that we all have to take is um, Linguistics 1001. And I actually loved that course. I found it really, really interesting because it was um, covering topics that I'd never really learned about before. And it kind of sounds silly to say now, but you you really understand like the complexities of language after you take it. Um, and if you're like me, like I love problem solving and like little puzzles and like things like that. And linguistics is so great because you get to do a lot of those things. Like you get to do a lot of um, little challenging uh, like data searching questions. And um, I just really liked it. It was completely different to anything I'd ever learned before. And then I'm I'm actually specializing in the in the neuroscience area of cognitive science. So the biological foundations of cognition is what we call it. But I got to take a lot of really great neuroscience classes as well. So I took um, neuropharmacology over the summer, which is a class all about different drugs and what they do to your brain and um, talking about addiction and substance use. And it was really, really interesting. That was also a great class. That's great. Yeah, no, I agree. There's there's an awful lot of courses out there, and it's nice that there's so many that had a, had a had a had a good effect on you. Uh, the first year seminars, in particular, are something that I know Carlton is really proud of, and I, I believe it's thirty students, so they're actually quite small, and mm -hmm. uh, they're they're in first year, so that's a great opportunity to take a course in first year that's a bit smaller than some of the other ones, which is which is always good as well. Yeah, uh, you mentioned your honors project, and maybe we can talk a bit more about that. But 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 the more general question I have is, what are some of the skills that you developed? you think as it, it taking a degree in cognitive science? I mean, you you learn a lot, I think, throughout your undergraduate degree, like more than you can really comprehend sometimes. But a big skill that I, I feel like I've learned this um, year and well, throughout the four years is the I've kind of developed the ability to ask for help um, a lot better than I might have had in high school. I'm quite proud person, but um, your undergraduate degree is really challenging and there's a lot of uh, a lot of adjustments like you said Mark that we have to make and I think learning to ask for help in terms of like uh, reaching out to people that are there to be a support system to you like your professors and your um, teaching assistants and kind of just asking for help there and taking advantage of all of the uh, different student services that Carleton has available to us um, to make the process as easy as possible. Like those are there to make your life better. And I think um, that's something I really learned is like asking for help is is a great way to make your whole life easier. And it wasn't something that was always very easy for me. So definitely got a lot better at that throughout the past four years. And definitely um, in addition, like worked on my time management and organization skills, I think that's a big part of success at university is just organizing your time um, correctly and uh, really trying to work on procrastination and and doing it doing it when you've uh, set out the time to get things done and staying organized and on top of things just makes it a lot less stressful and I learned that a little bit the hard way I guess but um yeah it's something you learn quite quick coming into university and a lot lot better at that um, now than I definitely was in high school. Looking back, I'm like, oh Lord, what was I doing? Yeah, no, for sure. And procrastination is an issue that we all uh, we all struggle with at times, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, okay, great. Um, oh, and a final couple of questions here. Where do you hope your degree takes you next? And how are you preparing for that, for that next step? Um, well, currently I'm applying to the Masters of Human Computer Interactions here at Carleton. So I feel I feel really well prepared after um, my three and a bit years, almost four years, I guess, um, going into that uh, into that program. I think um, the the classes that you take in cognitive science set you up really well for a, a postgraduate degree if that's what you want to do. Um, so hopefully that will all work out. That's where I'm, my next steps are, and preparing for that has really just been. Um, asking for advice from like current students in the program as well as um, my uh, supervisors and uh, faculty that are there in cognitive science because um, they're all a lot of them are are really encouraging of 
going into graduate programs and they've all done it before so they're super helpful so I'm mainly just preparing by like talking to others and then yeah just getting other people's advice and kind of chipping away at the iceberg of applications <laughs> right now um, so hopefully uh, after if I get into that program which I'm hoping I will I'm thinking about a career in user experience so that's kind of the long-term plan at the moment Okay, great. And you're, and you're working on an honors thesis right now, I think, which is one of the things that students can do to help them into grad school, right? And then and in cognitive science, every student has the opportunity, if they want to, uh, to, to work on an honors thesis where they get to work one on one with a professor to work on a project. So I think that's great that you're doing that as well. Yeah. Um, OK, well, thank you very much. That was uh, great chatting with you today, and I wish you all the best with the rest of this year and with your honors thesis and all um, and your applications and everything like that. So thanks a lot, Kristen. Yeah, thanks here. so much, Mark, and thank you to all the prospective students who are attending this event. Definitely, like Trevor said, I recommend doing a campus tour. I'm also a campus tour guide, so you might see my face again if you decide to do that. But yeah, best of luck to everyone in their applications.